of IV demonstrate for us. What's really friggin' awesome is people have gotten so good at the jump from torch to ledge that now going straight out the doors can be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, like you don't expect it. Like just jumping off the platform and running towards the yellow armor is like a shocker. Crap. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they sent Coffee Beans on offense this game, uh, which could be pretty interesting because he has the aim to back it up. Well, and, and it seems like fast. what he's doing right now is setting up to, to try to make sure RA never goes too blue. And it's working out pretty well. He's joined by Pyro. Pyro is able to get this one. And it's just a massive clusterfuck in the river, which is, uh, I think, one of my favorite things to see because a lot of times, you know, teams don't put an, enough importance on on that red armor, but uh, both teams really have it high on their priority list. I like it. King's going center. Now, this can be really yes. dangerous because his rail's usually pretty solid, and uh, although his timing's off, I, that shot, he probably could have connected um, given the location of uh, where everyone was as he fell down. So, he's fallen back on D and stuffs Viju. Viju getting railed twice. Does kill off Kings, but will not be able to pull down KG. Let's watch KG for a second. Of course, this map does not have a power-up for those that are unfamiliar with Troubled Waters, but it does have a red armor in the center. That's why we've seen so much action um, in the water, because that's where you got to go in order to get it. So, KGB, solid stack moving in. Will he have it on the exit? Walks into Plasma, down to 130 and 125, but does pull down Clamp. That's one down. ID, fresh spawn going for Pummel, then to Shoddy, and I'm back to MG. And I don't know why I'm back to saying Shoddy after, like, a year of not saying it. I don't know. But, uh, I think I heard somebody else say it, and it just... It, like, rekindled the memory or something. I'm trying to figure yeah. out what you were calling it before. Oh, DBS. <laughs> because it's a double barrel shotgun, <laughs> and I come from Doom, so... I mean, yeah, I always just called it a double barrel shotgun. So, yeah. Coffee again, going to an attempt a push into the base, but probably not going to get very far because he's pretty weak. And I mean, he'll basically just be a distraction. That's one rail, though. That's a very nice rail. Definitely has Viju's attention, but uh, all for naught. Viju is pretty weak here, though. He's about to get both armors to stack back up. We do have a flag run, and it's ID going to center. Not sure why I didn't auto switch, but either way. Let's go see if we can find who's solidly O at the moment. Clamp center, waiting on RA. Picks it up, and we'll have timing for the next one. See him at 510. Or five, whatever. I can add. <laughs> it's not even that late. Good lord. Yeah, it's still early. I know. You haven't even been drinking. <laughs> Need to start, apparently. I don't think Shit. you've been drinking. <laughs> Kings just destroyed Clamp and Center. Wow. Clamp gets revenge. So two's gonna make his way out. But, oh, God, yeah, it's just a cluster fuck on red, so that will not be anything fruitful. So at this point, you know, we've yet to see any real touch that gets to center. But one thing that I love about this map is eventually you're going to see just some amazing footwork by a flag carrier. That'll get the flag out to center. And then all you need is five seconds worth of the mid being locked down. And that'll equal a cap, so... T's about to suck some water. Grabs a bit of air before he dies. 48 health as Red Arm responds. We have a timeout called. KGB loves this strat. <laughs> Stop sucking! <laughs> More or less. Wow, two gets a grenade kill against Coffee. Pyro, 
try to make an exit with 33 health. Probably not going to happen. But he does pick up an impressive against uh, Viju. Very solid. Clamp now. Solidly stacked plus medkit will travel. And he uses it before he gets exposed on the side. And now he's got to get through center. And this might be it. First cap. That's one rail. And he's dropping down to give an opportunity for his teammate to grab it in case he dies. But he will not be dead yet. King's defending himself on the plat. And cannot hit the double rail required, but it's long enough for Pyro to get the return from the backside, or in this case, the front side of the base. And we will be back to square one for both of these teams. And it is a beautiful, beautiful defensive standoff that we see here on Troubled Waters. And honestly, I love it because it's not like boring Troubled Waters. Boring Troubled Waters can be just sort of the uh, tedious. You know, nobody's touching the flag, or, you know, everyone's turtled up on D. No. Both these guys grabbing the flag, making runs for it. ID about to defend himself. Coffee, though, landing two beautiful rockets, will get the flag returned once more. But back to back. Kings now on the way out, trying an RJ smash. Doesn't make it happen. And the clamp will pull him down. And we go back to the starting point now. The clamp doesn't even turn his attention towards Coffee and his uh, teammate there in center. That's kind of a weird thing to do. Impressive. <laughs> a nub pickup, I see. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of uh, riffraff comment here from nice rail from KGB midair and fade away. And that'll keep the flag home. So... This thing may come down to one or two caps. I'm hoping that we see both teams capped in the next couple of minutes, though, to really make it interesting. Here's ID, taking care of KZB, and uh, just goes for a straight exit because he knows that his freshly spawned uh, opponent won't have any weapons to deal against him. And, oh, wow, this is a nice double back, and he will indeed... He waits it out. Go back over. Yeah, this is a nice exit. This is very nice. Let's see if they can catch him. That's one. Almost two. He's got to be careful about his positioning here. And KGB just hit every single rail shot. And uh, ID only hit one. So, all for naught, KGB was definitely on the ball there, recovering that flag. Nice little bit of misdirection from ID, but uh, not enough. So, we return both flags to their bases. And we see a three on one with a two on three push. Coffee getting the rail that matters though, pulling the carrier down as he makes an exit. <laughs> Gets double railed by two, that was nice. Two and a teammate. That's 12 impressives for two. Let's take a look at the accuracy. 71% for two and his railgun. Let's uh, let's just enjoy that for a moment, folks. Nice sneaky shot, and he backs off. A little, little hit and run. I always love the drive-bys. That's another one. That's another impressive, folks. But, uh, looks like Pyro. Has two's number. No pun intended. <laughs> Gotta watch your ass. Yeah, he was tracking the wrong guy. All right. So I'm hoping, and we have seen a little bit of a lull in the flag touches. And part of me is wondering if, uh, you know, I wonder if the flag runners would have the presence of mind to stack up a little bit. Because most of the flag runs on this map tend to be speed over brawn. And you don't really stack up very much. But, um, yeah, like here, you know, two can get railed off once and he's gone. So, double teams, not going to get very far. Coffee again, really showing uh, extremely solid defense on this map. 
We've seen him make several very critical plays. 